a quick look at the Nevada Green Fund, right? So at this point in time, we're going to look at a game called Open Ring. Now, Open Arena is about a 430 meg download, so it's not a small download. Um, it makes sure you've got a fast connection. There is a single player mode. In fact, you'll probably want to go into that first, just so that you can adjust things like the mod in here. Um, and there's a lot of models that you can choose from here. Um, you can see there's you know, we have actually page pages of these models to choose from. If you go back here, you can change your name. Your handicap is from uh, as you lower this from 100, you can make things like weapons and any armor you pick up weaker. Um, and you might want to do that if you're playing. If you're a really good player and you're playing with people who are uh, less skilled than you are, or you're just playing against bots and you want to give yourself a, a, a great handicap, I really suck. So I'm going to leave this at 100. Um, you notice some of the default ones, uh, they have you know, two or they have uh, more players to it, or even one. Let's play with the four first just to kind of give you an idea. And like I said, I suck, so I'm going to just have Mike win. And <coughs> let's go around and see what we can do here for a second. There are multiplayer options. Um, you can set up your own server as well right from within the client. So uh, if you want to have a bit of a LAN party here, um, that is possible. Uh, and yeah, I really do suck at this game. stuck on it. There we go. Oh. Even point blank, I can't get this. All right. Going in a bit of circles. Let's see. Oh, we got one. Okay. So that's basically it. I just wanted to show you. Right. Uh, let's leave this arena here. Um, multiplayer option. Set up basically your player control and game options as default. I normally go in here first, have a look at system, I've actually increased the resolution of this just so you can see. It can be made to go full screen as well, and full screen is quite nice. Um, you should be able to see in a second here. Yeah. Um, statistics just gives you total kills, total deaths. Um, and as you can see at the bottom, only results against humans are counted, so uh, it doesn't count the things against bots. Mission pack mod, uh, this is based on the Quake 3 engine, um, so it's, you know, it's got a lot of the, the uh, a lot of the flaws and a lot of the pluses of the Quake 3 engine. It runs reasonably well on uh, low hardware. I've seen in some forums that some people have said, oh, you know, it's possible to run this on a Tetris 2. I kind of doubt that that's going to happen. I mean, it might be possible, and yes, I probably could test it here, um, but I'm not going to do that. I, I'm going to suggest, you know, have your have a, uh, a low-end Tetris board. We have played it on some Tetris boards, or better, uh, with a half-decent graphics card. I mean, it doesn't have to be anything spectacular. I'm just using onboard video. My two is a computer I had underneath with a, a, a four-core system, so I was playing on a four-core system. But this is, you know, this is uh, not something that's 